Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4, our Ethiopia uh, Prester John and Blessed Nation run. So as you remember from our last video, it was just kind of one of those slow setup videos. We were digesting the land we got from Yemen and the one province from Marahan. And we had just managed to get not only a queen at 22, so that's great, but our new heir. So we don't have to worry about any sort of personal unions or, or shakeups of the, the dynasty yet. In fact, our, our <laughs> as you can see here, we got a 542. So he's not great, uh, as great as his dad militarily, but much better at admin. So we were making about seven ducats, so I put that into more points. Because unfortunately, we are running against the institution issues. And it doesn't look like we're anywhere close to getting it. Yeah, because we're not anywhere close enough to actually get an institution. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so it looks like Ottomans finally, in the meantime, have finally finished off the Byzantines. To the point where they've even moved their capital to Constantinople. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting in the future. We've got, uh, we don't really have a lot of, of movement ahead in the, the Prester John issues, but, uh, you know what, that's not, you know, I'm not trying to rush it. This isn't a speed run, this is just trying to get there. I mean, it's only 1491, we basically got, what, two, three, 350 years, 330 years to get, uh, both of those, so, yeah. Okay. So, we've got Mach and Aiden here, both being converted. So once those go, we should be able to statehood them. Let's see, the unrest is... Oh yeah, the unrest is like a bazillion due to the fact that... <laughs> I just uh, had a fight there. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to make, at least for right now... Our force limit to 30. That way we can uh, defend against the the Mamluks. We've got a year, two years on our truce with Ajaran, but I think in the meantime, I think Warsalongi, you know, I think it's time to bid them adieu. So let's, yeah, let's fabricate on them. Okay. In the meantime, it looks like Shamar would be willing to ally us. They've got a war right now with Oman. I'm not gonna, so I'm not gonna do that yet. But hey, Jaws, they're kind of eh with us, but they're allied with the Mamluk. Oh, so Yemen lost with hey, Jaws. Actually, no, they've never had a Jaws. But Oman somehow is fighting both Yemen and Sh oh right, because Yemen and Shamar were allied. So that's how. Oman would be nice to us too. So we're gonna actually see who uh, who comes out in this war. Shamar is not losing anything, but Oman might get some of Yemen, and I might want to fr uh, friend them. Or else they might split a Shamar, and if that happens, then, heh, then Yemen is going to get pounced on like a, like a nice, tasty hostess Twinkie. Because <laughs> I want to try and clear out the rest of them. Uh, I mean, they've only, they don't have any huge... Yeah, they don't have any huge development provinces, but it would get me more... Gulf of, uh, Gulf of Aden. Huh, what happened happen here? Because it looks like I've lost Gulf of Aden issues, but that could just be because of the war. Yeah. Somehow Mogadishu has a total lock on this province. Eh, oh well. Uh, that's probably what, uh, eating Warsalongi is gonna, uh, gonna help fix. So that's probably be where we lost some of our cash from. Yeah, our production's down to 390, which is not a big deal. So let's let's have time go here. I'm gonna wait because the only reason that I'm a, my force limit's 30 is due to the fact that I've got an advisor that gave me an extra three, and he's oldish. He's 43. Our national unrest guy is about to kick. He's 66. 17% yearly death risk. Nice. Actually, let's see if there's anybody I can replace him with. Nope, not yet. So. Eh, we'll see about that. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. It looks like I can actually keep uh, bring these guys down since 
the Yemeni separatists have been dealt with. Okay. I really hope Mogadishu likes me more than Warsalongi. <laughs> Okay, Warsalongi is a 7, and even if I deal with them together, that's still 13, so. And I've got to my buddies at 8. That reminds me. Now that Hejaz is fixed, I need to up with Elodia, because they need to be at 190 before I eat them. We're four years from integrating them. I wonder what's uh, locking down. So we've got mostly good relations. Huh. I don't know. Oh, probably because I can't marry them anymore. Mm. But the improved relations, I should be able to do... Oh, yeah, because they're mine. I, I can do it by 200. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking out loud there for a second. Okay, now while I'm waiting for Warsalongi to be able to go... Let's look at production. See if I can produ produce something... About 10 of anything. Kappa's already there, but I, okay, so, so I can go 8 cents. 8 cents there, or 8 on Shiwa, that's good. Okay, well, you know what, let's do them both. Okay, so that should get us another 16 cents going into the economy when those get built. I'm nowhere near a manufactory. Let's see if anyone's going to need some decent. Manpower. Okay, so I gained 50 per corruption, and we get religious deviance, which messes with our missionary strength for 10 years. And the clergy says uh, says boo to that, or I lose the stability, and this clergy says yay to that. Well, I'm not about I'm I'm generally not about losing the stability. I can gain 0.5 corruption, so that's not a big deal. So, and the clergy can yeah they can do things that I don't care about. All right, so back to what we're doing. Let's see, 500 there. So 500 looks like it's about the best we could pull off right now, so okay. All right, so the encroach for the nobility. Now that's one of those, another of the uh, estates issues, so. Tajura will become the control of the nobility, or um, this really ticks them off, and we... Yeah, no. I don't care about that. We'll, we'll let them have it. Huh. I wonder what happened here all of a sudden. What? Why did my... Oh! Oh! <laughs> gotcha! My rooting out corruption is so high that... Uh, woof. Here, we'll, we'll balance that out for right now. Alright, so Auden is now converted. In fact, you know what? We'll do it enough that we're actually trying to root out con corruption, but not spend so much. Because 0.3 isn't that big of a deal. It lowers a little bit of spy network and the power and, like, 50, 0.15 autonomy. And, yeah, whatevs. That, that was, wow, that was a little bit spooky. It's <laughs> a problem with not having corruption for so long. Oh, so it looks like Ajaran is has gotten Killa, who... Because Pate... Oh, so Pate switched from from allying with Ajaran to Killa, so I might have to see about what happens there. Okay, so that might be a good thing, chance. Oh, speaking of wars, it looks like Oman has completely taken over Yemen for right now. Like, the importance of higher learning. The monasteries of our empire are famed as centers of learning and art. As each At each mon monastic school reside a number of religious scholars, experts within fields such as church history. Uh, we're great. That's awesome. So, I believe this is where... Okay, so we can support them, we can lose money, but we get admin tech uh, 5%. We can lose money, or we get diplo tech 5%, or nothing. You know what? The money's not that big of a deal. It's basically 10% of what we've got. We're close to Diplo. You know what? We'll go with the Diplo. Because right now, that's going to cost us to there, and we could get us some more 
Uh, it'll help our enable this situations a bit. And uh, another promoted culture, which... Hmm. Okay, many is close to getting needy, uh, we need uh, 20 development in our states. All right, so we'll see about that. Uh, but anyway, we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the diplo tech, and that actually I believe that lowers that tech cost down to a whole whopping uh, February 1495. Okay, and we'll spend a couple of bucks for plague. All right. So we're getting close on Warsalongi. It looks like Mo uh, and Shamar. Alright, we're maxed out on Shamar. We're getting close to the turning that territory into a profitable state. So I think that's because they're they're finally starting to lose a little bit of autonomy. Meanwhile, Yemen's like, I once had that. Because they're just chilling out in sauna. <laughs> Alright, so that is Melindy, not Killa. So it looks like that whole war is just a big mess. Huh, interesting. Where are they at war with Mombasa and Anjuron? So Anjuron somehow is, I believe, at two wars at once? No? Wow. Anjuron's just going to probably not be around much longer. Hmm, a shame. Oh well. Alright! Speaking of, things not going to be allowed much longer. Yeah, just corruption. Corruption plus 2%. Oh. That's corruption plus 2% for. Oh, I thought I saw corruption plus 2%. Eh, oh well. Ah, got it. So, because we're above right now, we've got the corruption. We get taunts true faith, so, but, uh, we'll see. We're starting to actually get to where we can get normal again, so I might stay off. Uh, anyway! Ah, that, that, uh, totally distracted me from what I was doing here. So, uh, so let's fabricate a claim on... We can do any of them. You know what? Let's have a hop in. Just so you have to... Oh! Oh dear! You need to blow through your entire country! <laughs> to, get, to get to your one promise. I, I'm just... It, it's like that, uh, my half was on the bottom of the cup kind of thing, right? <laughs> Alright, so Warsalongi, I, it has been a profitable, it has been a wonderful... You've helped us, but I think it's time. Yeah, that, uh... Oh, right. Never mind. Uh, forgot. Five-year truce. Well, yeah. We'll see about that, then. All right, we'll crank it up to five. I was going to do Ajuron, but it looks like they're busy getting it. Eh, you know what? Might as well do it on Ajuron now. Ugh, I think they're going to have those five-year truces. That is dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb of me. Wow. Wait, okay. So, let me get a second. So, Pele, or Pe Pate, has doubled in size, finally. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit... We're gonna hit Hajaron. It's hard. We'll see about Pate. I might try to see if we can uh, vassalize him. Okay, so speaking of wars, the, um, uh, the Yemeni Omani War is still going on. Alright, so yeah, Hajaron's next now because. Yeah. Dude, they need it. They need to go away. They're in my way. I want to take over the whole Horn of Africa. I cannot believe I forgot <laughs> that we're so long so that you got a five year for breaking a uh, alliance so you don't just immediately roll over on somebody. Oh, speaking of uh, dying, I knew that uh, that advisor was going to finally kick. Ooh. So instead of uh, the unrest. Which is not a big deal. Our unrest go is still back to th a negative three, and we've only got Nautilus and Separatists at zero percent. We can take that tax modifier. Ten percent of that makes us a almost an entire another ducat. So yes, please. And he's 40, so that's going to be about 20 years. Uh, nine, so... Uh, so basically, he's going to make... What? Uh, even if he only survives 20 years... So let's, let's give him a good estimate of 25. So that's 25 years. Of a duck at a month. So, 
you know, what the heck? Let's have some fun. Let's do a quick calculation. So 25 years at a ducat a month is basically another 300 ducats in our pocket for that guy. So he'll pay for himself basically eventually. All right, so a new era. We can build a church for 35 ducats, or we can lose 10 prestige. Hmm. Let me think about that. Yeah, I think I'll take the uh, yearly prestige and the monthly autonomy change for 10 years. Oh my, I don't know why, why, you know, oh. <laughs> some, of those, some of these events are like, do you want to punch yourself in the head? Or would you like a bajillion things? I, 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 please sir, I want to punch myself in the head because it's fun. Yeah, no. <sighs> okay, we're coming up close. We're gonna keep, we're gonna speed time to get to the Ajirani. Or we've still got some time here, and yeah, we might make this a little bit of a longer, but we'll see. So we'll swap from Masawa. Okay, so they'll move their one to one in Shiwa. The nobility will go down to 40%. Okay, we'll make him with Kate. Now, I know that they won't be able to come in with us on this. Oh, oh pardon up. We, we gotta throw a couple things. Hey, let's speed up. Okay, so first off, cool. Look at the Diplo. We want that. That puts Diplo up to 100%, so now we can start using some of those excess Diplo points in the things. Ajuron, we can fabricate, fabricate on basically just about anything we want. I think Pate managed to take the best. <laughs> they did. They took the best development province of all of these. Uh, go figure. Anyway, uh, well, you know what? It's not about the development, it's about the land right now. Well, okay, it is about the development, but whatever. So we'll hit Kavio, so we'll get some uh, nice coastal land for some vacation. Some more Indian Ocean real estate there. It's like Kilwa has managed to... Ah, okay, so that's probably what this one is, is Marabi. Okay. Do... Okay, so we can, uh, we can attack Ajuron wholeheartedly now. And we'll do our not so super general. Okay. Alright, meanwhile, we'll make Yemen into a state. For them. All right, so now we've got 11 states out of 20, which is fine. I can always deconvert some of these lower ones. And mm, land leader maneuver. Mm, make super general even more super. There's seven. We'll get eight in about three. Okay, you know what? We're gonna save, save for Miltech because it is starting to go behind time now. So, okay. So let's go start the Ajirani War. We we have help from absolutely nobody, which is fine. The Mogadishu wouldn't even help us uh, because they have a truce with Ajiran, <laughs> of course. Lakuria won't because it's too far away, and but Adalon will, be, uh, Lodia will because they're gonna be, they're gonna be our buddies in about a year. I think we can start eating them now. Yeah, we can integrate them as a Christmas present. All right. So let's go take these guys on. Have some fun. Show superiority, even though I should be taking Habio. That's bizarre. Huh. Eh, you know what? Oh, well. Javier's not showing up, is he? But you know what? We've got the Deus Volt. Deus Volt. We'll just go take Javier. All right. And then we'll run up. Maybe if we can run up, like, right up against Mogadishu, we can vassalize them. So 
Bajoran, you know, if you really want to go into there, have fun. But otherwise, it looks like they're like, I don't know. We don't know what we want to do. Oh, no. They're coming. They're coming for us. We don't even know what we did. You existed, Ajuron. You existed. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elodia is coming down because, you know, they're enjoying their last bastions of, uh, of independence. You know, I may not integrate them immediately. I could use an extra th uh, bolster against... We could use the extra bolster against the Mamluks. So I may not integrate them immediately. Our buddies, the Elodians, are helping us. This carpet sees this. All right, you guys, you know. <laughs> wow, they're just running, but that's okay because we'll catch up to them and stomp them into a bundle. Not that I'm calling their their land a bundle. I mean, I'm just going to stomp them until they stop moving. Oh, oh, Elodia was was nice to us, and they stack one. Perfect. Okay, so we can get a uh, uh, skill two statesman, or you know what? We'll go for the diplo power. We're gonna need that when we eat Ajuron land here. Well, that was a quick battle. I think we lost. Uh, why we only lost seven, about a thousand men. Meanwhile, Warsalongi is looking at that going, oh, oh, crap. <laughs> wow, my guy who actually has siege pips is not sieging. No figure. Okay. In other news, our uh, naval force limit's up to 20 now, so that's good. Uh, get those barks going. Uh, blink, 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 blink. Yeah. So that'll help. I mean, that'll uh, bump our fleet maintenance up to a, probably a whole bucket. Meanwhile, we're taking attrition. Yeah. Might, might as well just not lose as many people due to attrition on that. Just waiting for Marissa, Marissa, America, America, America. <laughs> uh, for them to to siege out. The truce of the Dishus ended. So they've come in and helped finally, but we don't need them to. Because we're gonna probably uh, take these two, for these two. All right, come on, come on, you know. Yes, I guess. Wow, our unit actually took a casualty. Yeah, that's annoying. Huh. So now we have a truce. With okay, so it looks like Yoma Oman did uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, they didn't do anything. Maybe they just took money from uh, from Yemen. Maybe they lost. I don't know. Actually, they might have lost. Hmm, I don't know. So, the question here is, I have... Since I uh, told War, uh, Warsalongi to go away, I've got three. And Oman doesn't like me as much as Shamar does, so... Oh, well, we're in a war, so I'm thinking we'll probably help uh, Shamar. That way we have a 1-2 against the, the Hejaz. Oh, right. Actually, I'll just have the park and hobby because that's what I'm going to be taking anyway. Okay, so... Mr. 
Mr. Ajuran. Dink a dink. Take those two. In fact, we'll just take that whole mess. Yeah, I don't want to get too much uh, overextension, although. Well, here, you know what? That's the funny thing is, let's look. I took. Dang it! Sorry. If I took everything, my extension would only be 37%, because that is showing how kind of pointless that whole country had gotten to. Oh no, Yemen would be in a coalition against us. It would only take 212... Huh. You know what? Why don't we just do that? I would take a whole 212 admin to core the whole lot. I could eat, uh, I could basically eat Mogadishu at my, at my leisure at this point. And that would allow me to start going down the coast of, Af the, uh, yeah, the east coast of Africa here. Where I know that there's some gold farms. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a coal farm here. Kilwa. There's iron. It's mostly just iron. And some, oh, naval goods. Naval goods. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think we just take all their money and eat all their land, and the only person I piss, I uh, make angry anymore, will be uh, Yemen. And uh, yeah, this gets me. But this does actually help with a lot of uh, of land force that I can probably boost against the Mammoths against. I mean, because right now, I would just have to worry about Pate and Melindy coming up. And I don't think that's going to be an issue. So, you know what? Welcome to the Ethiopian Empire, Ajuran. You're awesome. Thanks for your money. All right. They might be infidels, but you know what? They're nice. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, my my like with them kind of tanks due to being neighboring now and aggressive expansion. But you know what? They took a land I would want, so... <laughs> so look at all this stuff we've got to do. Oh, yeah, the next episode... I mean, we could... We'll core everything. Yeah, that, that cost us a whole bunch of admin. So we'll core everything. We'll have our buddies here. Kind of just taking their new Indian Ocean vacations. We gain a whole not much in corruption. And we'll be able to take Multex in. So I think that's a great way to end this right here. Um, as I said, I think we're going to keep Elodia whole for right now. We'll probably integrate them around the turn of the century. Our land force is now 32, so even after that one guy dies, we'll probably still be kicking to about 27 or 28. Definitely higher once we actually int uh, core these. And then Warsalongi is next. Uh, is next. Because about the time that we finish coring that, Warsalongi will be ready to get eaten. Alright, so we're going to leave that here. I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day, class. And with that, class dismissed.